Hey guys, Jared Littner here. You know, my kid's involved in his high school bass fishing club and I'm getting a lot of questions, um, as well as in the past, you know, by young anglers just getting into the sport of what pound line do I use for crankbait or whatever. And, and it's a, it's something I kind of take for granted because I've been doing it so long that you kind of just know. So I just want to give you a general, real general, basic idea of what lines to throw with which bait. So let's start off with a square bill crankbait. Um, you know, shallow running crankbait, you're bouncing around wood and stuff. I usually tend to go with like 14 is a good all around line. This here sun line, this is FC sniper. Uh, if I'm fishing around a lot of cover, I'll, fi I'll fish the 14 and shooter. Sometimes you have to go up to 16, 18. Like I said, it's real basic. Um, you know, for a medium diving crankbait, um, that's where I'm gonna go to like a 12 pound. This here is the reaction crank line. Um, this is just a good line that I've used. It's a combination of fluoro. It's got a little bit of stretch for that crankbait, but overall 12 pound is what you want to go with for a medium, say, you know, six to 10 foot diving crankbait. Then you get into the deeper diving crankbaits. Um, that's either where I'll go to 10 or 12, both reaction, FC, crank, sunline. Um, and it kind of depends on the depth you want that bait to get. The smaller diameter line, the deeper that crankbait's going to get. So, and again, it's a lot of what you are fishing. You know, if you're fishing rocks or trees or whatever, you might want to up, up your line, or if there's no structure, you might want to decrease it down to eight. So again, it's real general, 10 or 12, it's a really good way to start. You know, now with the jerk bait, what's going on here in California, the waters are kind of clear because we haven't had a lot of rain, uh, especially where I'm at. And a good all around line right here is that FC crank sun line, um, 10 pound line. And, you know, just, like I said, it, it, it's real basic, real general. Sometimes when that water gets a little darker, I'll go to 12 or even 14. But again, 12 is what I mainly go with, a lot, a lot with 10 also. Um, and then, you know, like a spinner bait. Um, there's several different things. I've gone back and forth. Sometimes I'll throw a 16 or 18 pound shooter by Sunline. But this Defier Amarillo, it's, a, it's like a, uh, uh, a monofilament, if you will, um, really good casting distance, and the abrasive resistance is really, really good. So, you know, 17 is a really good starting line, you know, 16 to 18, right in that range for your spinner baits, really good. And then the chatterbait, a lot of people ask me, what do you throw for a chatterbait? That's generally, I'll go to like 16 pound fluorocarbon, all the way up to 20, again, depending on what's going on, but 16 is a good way to start. Now, if I'm fishing like Clear Lake with a lot of grass or the Delta or things like that, that's where I'll go to like a like a 30 pound braid. Um, I have some right here. That's SX1 Sunline, even all the way up to FX2 50 pound. So it kind of depends, but you know, not a lot of grass and things like that. You want to go to a 16 pound fluorocarbon all the way up to a 50 pound braid. Then we're getting into top water. Some of my favorite fishing, you know, with uh, poppers and spook um, walking type surface baits sunline makes a really good supernatural uh, monofilament and 20 to 25 pound test i ha do have some 16 for those small little rico type popping baits sk pops things like that but i like throwing that monofilament because it doesn't drag the nose of the bait down in the water it stays up now again that's really basic real general if I'm fishing at Clear Lake of the Delta with those same baits, I might want to go to a lighter braid just because of all the grass. Um, now with your frogs and your, you know, your, your pompadours, your buzz baits and things like that, always, always, always braid. Um, you know, 50 pound, I like throwing 50 pound a lot for my frogs, buzz baits, you know, uh, plastic style toad frogs, um, things of that nature because the line very seldom touches actually the water, so it's not really interfering with what you got going on. Now in the flipping, oh yeah, with the frog also, when I'm in dense, real dense matted vegetation, like big mats, that's when I go to the 60 pound FX2. You know, I want that good solid hook set and a powerful line to drag those fish through that mat. Now, flipping. It, it ranges anywhere from 20 to 25. We've got a street sweeper coming by here. But with the flipping, anywhere from 20 to 25. You know, if I'm grass flipping, uh, mats or heavy hydrilla vegetation, I'm going back to the 60 pound FX2. Um, now if I'm fishing 
bushes or laydowns or wood or what have you, sparse grass. That's when I'll go from anywhere, you know, a good solid line, I would say on average is this 22 shooter. It does a lot of different things, you know, but I carry 25 to 30, just depending. But 22 for all your flipping, whether it's a jig, a plastic, whatever, it's a really good all around flipping line, you know. Um, <clears throat> now for finesse fishing, everybody thinks California, you know, you got to finesse fish and all that. Um, what I generally do is I got a 10 pound SX1 leader all the way down. You know, if I'm drop shotting, sometimes I'll go with a seven pound, sometimes I'll go with six, you know, just, just depending, all the way up to eight pound. But what's really cool is for, you know, like I said, drop shot, Ned rig, shaky head. Sunline makes these little spools, fluorocarbon leader. So you don't have to buy a big old spool. You just attach this to your, your braided line use this for your leader that way you know you, you use whatever you want you're not buying a big old spool of line and only using 20 feet of it so we got that so then and the same goes for a shaky head I use that 10 all the way up to a 16 pound kind of depending and then um, attach you know my 8 or 10 pound line whatever I'm fishing uh, then we're off to jigs you know living here in California everybody's big into football jigs across the country. So kind of my basis, the way I kind of look at it is quarter to half ounce jigs. I'm throwing 14 pound FC sniper. Um, good all around line, that's kind of where you need to start. And then half ounce to one ounce, I'm throwing either 16. And, and when I'm doing that, because it's a, it's a more of a contact, uh, bottom contact bait, I'm using 18 or 16 pound shooter. 16 is really good for, like I said, that half ounce to, to the one ounce, but um, that's going to give you a good overall uh, line to throw that. And then Texas rigs, that's a really hard one. Um, you know, 10 pound all the way up to 20 pound. I mean, again, it kind of depends, but if I was going to any lake in the country, I'd probably start with 10, all, you know, and then just kind of go, go from there. Texas rig, worm, lizard, whatever you have, but that's a good all around line for that. Um, and then umbrella rigs, uh, what I've kind of found, you know, when it first came out, the 22 or the, the braided line was the deal, but then the fish kind of got conditioned. And that's when I go back to the 22 pound shooter. I've caught them, caught some real big fish on this cast good as the durability and the strength to get them away from stuff and, you know, catch them really big ones. And then the, the swim bait, um, 20 pound, this 20 pound FC basically handles 99% of your swim baits. Um, like I said, it's really basic, but 20 pound sniper, anywhere I go, that's what I start with. And then, you know, the, the sink or the stick bait, you know, weightless, Texas rig, wacky rig, whatever. A good all around kind of basic deal is 12 pound. Um, I had some somewhere. 12 pound sniper is, is really good to start off with a Senko. And again, these are all just really, really basic. Um, you know, depending on what you're fishing, but if you start with these lines and kind of, it, these are the best lines to make those baits function the best. So I think if there's a good starting point, and then like I said, you know, adapt to what you're fishing, the depth you're fishing, the structure you're fishing, but real general, um, hope this helps you catch some more fish and line up your rods with the proper line, according to the bait you're gonna throw, and you're gonna catch a lot more fish, I guarantee it. And make sure to check it out, um, all this stuff right now, you can check it out at Tackle Warehouse, and uh, good luck to you.